In August this year, the first ever freshwater European Championship was held at Lake Puravesi in Finland. I was lucky enough to be part of the British team in this historical event. After several flights, lost baggage and running for trains, this was our HQ for the week. The team consisted of myself, Fina, Scott and Arian. We had four days to scout two massive zones and none of us had ever speared in fresh water before. Good morning, Dan. Good morning. We're talking about deep frying whole chickens. Deep frying whole chickens. Why don't you turn the camera and show us sleepy guy? I don't look my best. <laughs> a stunning morning and it's day one of scouting. We're about to go get our licenses to fish the lake and then we're heading out to search a very big area for all these competition fish that nobody can tell the difference between a rud, a roach. What's the other one? A bream. A bream, they all look the same. We quickly got our licenses sorted and met up with Aki, whose boat we were renting for the scouting period. Lovely. Yeah, there we go. There we go. The visibility's looking nice. Better than I was expecting to be there. You can but even see the... your feet. Yeah. Done some pretty murky stuff recently. It's sitting a little lopsided. That's because that's because Scott's in it. <laughs> yeah, you prick. <laughs> oh, this is quite quite luxury, isn't it? Lovely bit of Our next hurdle was trying to change the language of the chart plotter to English, as surprisingly, none of us spoke Finnish. The competition is over two days with two different zones. With only four days scouting, we decided to dedicate two days to each zone. During the competition, we would all be in individual boats, so had to form a plan that would maximize our chances of finding fish and also not diving on top of each other. We have to start somewhere. Yeah. And this is, where, this is where we're gonna start. Looks like a nice place yeah. to start. It looks wet. Wetter than an otter's pocket. We were greeted by three meters visibility, 21 degrees and a delightful tea color. We had no idea where to start looking for fish, so kept moving quickly after finding nothing but a few small fish amongst the rocks and reeds. What have you seen, Fina? Uh, so, around the other side, four nice sized pike. Really? They're uh, really, really tame, like they're like mullet, kind of just sat there. Easy not to, You think it'd be easier to shoot? Arms distance away. That'd be a kilo though, you think? Oh, easy, easy. I'd say like, you know, good size uh, thick lit mullet, they're probably not far off that size. What did you see, Arianne? Yeah, I saw a flea pike, a shit ton of perch, and um, it's a really, really big roach. Like, really? Yeah, definitely shootable. I saw at least six or seven roach. Individuals or in shoals? In pairs. Really? Yeah, like, um, I need to put a spear on to work today, but I'm probably saying well over 500 grams, if not 700. This is good. Yeah. This northern zone was 20 kilometers wide and 16 kilometers tall an enormous area that we couldn't possibly scout given our time and resources. We spent the next eight hours driving from spot to spot, swimming around looking for fish. What did you see? Nothing but fry. Nothing but fry? It's hard graft, Baron. It's gonna be a hard task to find some fish here, I think. It's been quite a long day scouting, checking out so many different spots. Everyone's put in a real shift to get in, swim and look for these fish. We've just come out side of the competition zone this afternoon to practice shooting some fish to see what they weigh and I've managed to get myself a bream. Saw a shoal of them and clipped this one a bit high but this is about 600 grams so I think these minimum weight for this competition is 500 or 700. I really hope it's 500. But yeah, saw a shoal of those in the reeds and also got a pike. Believe it or not, this pike here is about 850, so it needs to go a kilogram for the competition. So we need to find them a bit bigger than this. But overall, real positive first day. We've seen some fish, we found some fish, got some spots marked in there, but we have a lot of work to do before competition day. Well, please, I'm off the mark. It's been hard work, I've been in the water for a long time today, so... 10 hours, yeah. ne nearly not, nearly 11. And, uh, off the mark and got a bit of dinner, so I'm happy with that. Are they good to eat? We'll find out. <laughs> <laughs> Day two on our Saturday zone. This is the biggest zone of the competition. Not finding much fish today, unfortunately, but we'll keep pressing on for the rest of the day and 
hopefully find some fish for competition day come Saturday. It's a large piece of water this, like intimidatingly large. It's only 16 kilometers from one end to the other. That's not that bad, is it? Exactly, but there's an awful lot of shoreline. <laughs> it's not so much finding the, the ground where the fish are, it's finding the ground where you can actually move a gun because some of it is so thick that you couldn't move a gun from side to side and it's like spearing in a bunch of bamboo canes. <laughs> Fun, yes. fun. We are running into many challenges. Arian was absolutely right. There were fish in these areas of high reed density, but pointing a spear gun at them on competition day would be challenging. In my mind, it was going to be inefficient to stalk these reed beds, so I looked at Navionics for any signs of pinnacles or boulders. My Finnish mate Jose had told me perch will gather on areas like this, and we spent the next few hours staring at the sonar. That be perch on the bottom, I think. It's not Oh yeah, there we go. I'm going to go wash my suit after this. Oh. Really? Yeah. That, ex that excited about these perch? I'm that excited about these perch, there was one there. If it wasn't a kilo, it was gram shy. The eye was that big. <laughs> we found a few large boulders in the area between seven and 11 meters, which held these shoals of perch. Although there were loads of smaller fish, a few were stand out. The problem we had was we hadn't seen any perch this size outside of the competition zones where we could spear them and weigh them. Were these fish actually over 300 grams or did they just look big next to the small ones? We found half a dozen nice boulders which were loaded with perch. We then finished up outside of the competition zone, spearing some more fish. This is a 1.2 or 1.3 pike, so we're looking for them about that big. This one is one kilogram exactly on the dot. So if these were bass, I reckon they would be at least two kilos, but they're very, very skinny, these pike. Good to know what we're looking for though. Day three was our first run in the southern zone for the second day of the competition. Although being significantly smaller than the northern zone, there was still too much to effectively cover in just two days. We took what we learned from the previous two days and tried to locate some isolated boulders. After a long time staring at the sonar, we found what we were after. Nice size perch. There would have been eight perch, well over half a kilo. Um, probably one or two of them getting on for, like, aye, ah, nice perch. Need a bit of spear into them to know how much they really weigh, but... They're definitely over 300. Oh, for sure. It's taken a wee bit to find this rocks, but it's broken up rocks and there's just lots of perch on it. You know, we're good day. We found a handful of very promising boulders, but some of them only had small perch, and some of them only had one or two large ones coming in after extended breath holds. The overarching question though, would they be there on competition day? Scott had also managed to find some locals not on the score sheet. Yeah, he's quite Larry, isn't he? There's a couple more down there wriggling. Last night we came out, looked for some spots in the dark just to find some rocks to look at today. Not a heap of fish on them, mainly small perch, but we've got a few more to check before the day's out and then we'll go try and shoot some fish, just get the eye in before the competition. Tomorrow's a rest day. But overall, mediocre, moderately, moderately confident moderately confident. Knowing that the pike were worth a lot of points, we made sure to scout them in this southern zone as well. That meant more reed bed swimming. Literally just sitting in a field of grass by the shore, looking for fish. We found pike to be the easiest fish to find and one we should be getting on both days. With a limit of one, it was critical to fill this category. And just like that, our four days of scouting were finished and we had to get back to the resort to sign on. A huge thanks must go to Yakada for sorting out our uniforms last minute. You can check out their range of spearfishing apparel by following the link in the description. Feeling good, mate. Gonna sign on. Yes. Chatting to some of the others, some of the other countries, and uh, I think we're gonna be all right. Do you think they're everything as well? Do you think they're full of crap on what they're saying? Could be. We played the game, couldn't they? But um, we find out. But um, so far, I'm pretty confident. There's nothing else we can do now. Done our best. Done our homework. Competition preparation here. To real or not to real? That's the real choice. Are you worried about big fish taking your gun or what? Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, I'm very unlikely to shoot a fish that's big enough to take my gun, but I've just always dived with reels, so it's one of these. 
do I take it off for the reads or not? What is your thoughts, Dan? I'm strong with your advice, so just give me it. I don't know, don't change the gun. Don't change the gun? I don't think so. Okay. There we go. I'm not changing my gun. Today is a rest day and the captain's meeting. It's just going to clear up a few of the questions we have as a team about entering the water today for target practice and some other technical stuff. But that's all that's on for today and to rest. The spearfishing family is now gathered here in the sun. We've been picking mushrooms. It's pretty really great. How was your competition preparation? It, it was brief, <laughs> intense and quite, quite okay, yeah. You feeling good about tomorrow? Yeah, really good. Yeah, it's fun. How many fish will you catch tomorrow? Uh, let's see if I can get 10 to 15. 10 to 15? Who knows? You yeah. know, it's fishing, so that's always a little bit, you know, I don't know. Always nervous. Yeah. Are they there? Have they left? Has something changed? Where are they? Time for the opening ceremony. Welcome to the land of the thousand lakes. The countries competing were Denmark, Norway, the ever formidable Spain, Turkey, Ukraine, USA, and the host nation and favorites, Finland. The CMAS flag was raised and the championship was declared open. Now it was time to draw our boats. Team GB was randomly assigned vessels and not all of them had depth sounders or chart plotters. Everyone just pick up people. <laughs> Oh, jeez. <laughs> there's no tray full in it, it's empty. Okay. All right, let's do a little reveal. At the hey, time. there's more than one bits of paper in there. Yeah, I know. Just in case you were watching. Ah, oh, you've all picked a boat, actually. The two duds are in there. Oh, God, Dan. Mine says 80. You've got Aki's. Oh, I've got Aki's boat. 50. Oh, ah, fuck. Ah. Unfortunately, my 100 doesn't mean much because we're limited to 22 knots, so. <laughs> I'll get there. I'll get to 22 very quickly and it'll slow down. <laughs> Thanks, Fina. That was emotional. That was very emotional. <laughs> Just waiting for everyone to find their boats and then things will kick off. It's a gorgeous day. Sun is shining. Vibes are high. Won't be filming during the competition, but we'll report back as soon as possible. Good luck, Fina. Any last words? How are you feeling? It's all working out good. I've got my bag turned up today. I've got a better boat. I've got a great driver. It's, it's all good over. I'm excited. Rock and roll. I've got, a, I've got a very knowledgeable skipper, so I'm sorted. We're just waiting for all the boats to assemble here before heading to the dive spot, the starting point, and we'll go from there. Loads of boats, sunshine reggae, good vibes today. It's going to be a lot of fun, I hope. Tough day. Uh, the first spot I wanted to go to was right in the start zone, so there was about 10 boats on it before we even started. And then got to the first rock. I managed to get one that said it was 305 grams. Um, so I hope this one goes. It looks big enough. I don't think this one will. I got a pike that's that's in and um, a rud. Hard work. And then, and then the pike got the better of me. Rock. That was my first fish. First fish, first tray, first rock. Oh, oh mate. Oh, oh yeah. Not much, but better than nothing. Oh! oh. 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 What's that thing? That's that Caspian cup. Yeah. Yeah. You got a Caspian cup? Yeah. No, it's a coin. Fina! Get in, mate! Okay. Yeah! Well, my pike's in, I think. But uh, he's in. Oh, no, he's in. He's in. So. Oh, you're going to get penalty points yeah, for your perch? Yeah, I am going to get penalty points for perch. But no! We'd all caught a few fish, but some of the divers were on another level. The big question was, would our fish meet the minimum weights back on the scales? I was the very first person to weigh in and both my fish were not huge. I was stoked my larger perch was 304 grams. Four grams over minimum, however my second one was only 265. Not a penalty, but also not valid. My rud was also not valid, but not a penalty. And my pike scraped in at 1090 grams with a one kilogram minimum weight. Scott was next with his eyed and bream, which both easily weighed. 
a huge string from Turkey, but due to the fish being inside a plastic bag, they were sent to the back of the line for weighing their fish. This is a sea bass rule, and it is enforced at every competition. Arian had some bad luck with one of his perch going 198 grams, which meant a penalty by only 2 grams. He did, however, manage to get two valid perch. Kilic from Turkey had an absolute dinosaur perch, which helped him top score for the day with 14 valid fish. One, seven, one, eight. The women were weighing in reverse order to the men, so Fina was last. Her crucian carp was the only one weighed in for the competition. Even with a penalty fish, Fina was in fourth place. The rest of us boys were more than halfway down the field, so had a lot of work to do tomorrow. I'm going to go and smash up a special place that me and Daniel have found, and I won rock, paper, scissors, so I get the first dive on it. I'm going to shoot Big Paul right in the face. Big Paul, by the way, is the biggest perch we've seen in the league, which I've named Big Paul, which might have been shot by a Turkish boy yesterday because it did Big Paul's dad, but we shall see. <laughs> Arian and I headed straight for the scouted perch rocks to see if we could have better luck than yesterday. We are checked in, ready to go. It's go time! I have a pike that is 1.1 kilos, which is good. It'd be nice if it was bigger, but if it weighs, it pays. Our perch spots haven't been very good today. They're just not holding the fish like they did two days ago, three days ago. So, a bit scratchy, but keep looking. With our perch rocks only producing one fish each, we had to move to the shallows in hopes of finding bream. I saw some during the day, but I couldn't capitalize on my opportunities. The six hours sure goes fast, and again, some people did really well. Klaus, where did you find this crocodile? Oh, just in the grass. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, I saw, a, I saw a small one, 50 centimeters. And I went for that, while well, suddenly this one was just looking at me. And my heart just thumping. But uh, yeah, I'm lucky. And I'm happy because I didn't get anything yesterday. Great fish, mate. Hey. Very good. Better than yesterday? Yeah, much better. Happy? Yeah, I'm happy, man. These two had a great day. I had a not good day. We could not find a good shootable fight. It's uh, tough there, wasn't it? Uh, we found some other fish that wanted that good fight. Oh, oi, 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 oi. Opa! Yeah! That's how big it is. Oh, that's beautiful. Today it was reverse order and the women weighed in first. Yemi from Finland had another huge string of perch. Impressive catches continued from Turkey, Spain and Finland. Alexander from Ukraine found the biggest fish of the competition. Arian had a lovely string, but unfortunately, the scales were not kind to him. It's not valid. I only managed to get two fish for the day, but I was confident both of them would go. Ah, oh, they were in. Easy, which was good. It was then straight into the results. Norway number one, Elizabeth <laughs> Ukraine number two, Azela Polovianko. and the women's champion, Finland number one, Yemi Levonen. And the third place for the Freshwater European Championships is Finland number one, Martin Buka! Turkey number one, Kilik Sabri! <laughs> and the winner of this historical event, Spain number two, Santil! <laughs> The 
CMAS flag was lowered and the championship was declared closed. The evening continued with the gala dinner and then a dozen naked men in the Team GB sauna until 4 a.m. It was certainly a long trip home, but an incredible experience. Thank you for the support of the British Spearfishing Association, the London International Club of Spearfishing, Yakada Apparel, and of course, our partners for supporting us on these trips away. A huge congratulations to all the winners and Finland for running an amazing competition.